Once upon a time, in a land on the east, there lived a poor but very good-hearted boy named Aladdin. Living with his mother, Aladdin did the hardest jobs, went the furthest distances, just to earn their living. One day, he was going far away to get some bananas to sell in the market. Suddenly, he came across a well-dressed man with a beard and a dark look. The man talked, showing the gold in his hands. Hello, my boy. I'm an old friend of your father's. Would you like to win a gold coin? A gold coin? If I pick bananas for the rest of my life, I still wouldn't earn that much money. The man asked Aladdin to go down the hole, under the rock, a little further away, and asked him to do as he said. Aladdin thought that this was a very easy task. Together, they pushed the rock further away and watched as the hole appeared. Being as tiny and as agile as he was, he managed to go through the hole. Inside, he found a very narrow staircase and down he went. When he made it to the bottom, he saw that the cave was lightened up with an old lamp. He couldn't believe his eyes. Inside the cave were precious stones, gold, and was full of treasure. While still at shock, Aladdin got scared from the voice he heard from up above. Lamp! Have you seen the lamp? Turn the light out and just bring the lamp to me. Out of all that treasure and gold that was lying there, Aladdin couldn't believe that the only thing that the man had wanted was his old worthless lamp. Now, Aladdin was scared. Aladdin took the lamp and began climbing up the staircase. But before he did anything, the man started to yell. Give me that lamp, quickly! Aladdin couldn't understand the man's behavior. First, I want to get out of here. If you don't give me the lamp, this instant I will lock you up in this cave forever. At that point, Aladdin knew that this man was up to no good. No, first I want to get out of here. All right then, you asked for it. Hey, stop, what are you doing? Unaware of dropping his ring in the cave, the man pushed the rock back on the hole and left Aladdin there. Aladdin saw the ring on the floor. And as soon as he picked it up and put it on, with a tremendous noise, the cave lit up in a pink cloud and from the cloud appeared what seemed to be a giant. In fear, Aladdin took a look at the giant. Wish for anything you want, but don't you forget, you only have three wishes. I wish to go home. Okay, my boy. With a glimpse, Aladdin was back at home. <coughs> Seeing her son appearing from nowhere, Aladdin's mum began to scream. Aladdin explained to his mother all that had happened. He told her that he wasn't able to get the gold, but instead was left with this old lamp. Wanting to clean the lamp, Aladdin began to rub it. Suddenly, the fumes coming out of the lamp covered the whole room and a genie appeared from nowhere. Woohoo! Wow, man, I've been trapped in this lamp for hundreds of years and you saved me! Well, wish for anything you want. Stunned and frozen, Aladdin and his mother kept staring at the genie. The genie repeated what he said. Wish for anything you want. Well, in that case, prepare us a table full of delicious food and drinks. All of a sudden, a feast table appeared in the middle of the room with all kinds of food, fruits and sweets. From that day on, thanks to the magic lamp, anything Aladdin and his mother wished for came true. They were living a rich and happy life. A long 
time passed by. One day, when passing through the market, Aladdin saw Princess Jasmine, the king's daughter, on a silver throne carried by the soldiers. And he fell in love with her. He went home and told about it to his mum. And his mum prepared a chest full of gold with the genie's help and went to the castle. She told the guards that she had brought a present to the Sultan. Liking the present very much, the Sultan called her to his presence. When she told him about her son's intentions, the Sultan asked her to prove her son's wealth and power. If your son wants to marry my daughter, tell him to send me 40 slaves, each carrying a chest full of precious stones, and they should be followed by 40 soldiers to protect them. Hearing the Sultan's wish, Aladdin's mother turned back home sad, because she thought that even the genie would not be able to grant a wish this big. Aladdin picked up the lamp and rubbed it harder than ever, and the genie came out. Well, wish for anything you want. Aladdin told him about the Sultan's wishes. The genie clapped three times, and suddenly right beside them appeared 40 slaves with chests full of treasure and 40 soldiers protecting them. The next day, seeing that all he had wished for was right there in front of his eyes, the Sultan was very impressed. He wondered how rich Aladdin was. I want my daughter to live in a big and fancy castle. That is the only way I will let my daughter marry you. Aladdin told the Sultan's wish to the genie. Genie granted his wish right away. Aladdin could not believe his eyes. A gorgeous, fancy castle was standing right next to their home. He couldn't believe his eyes. Sultan thought that he could not find a richer husband than Aladdin. Aladdin and Princess Jasmine had a huge wedding that went on for three days. Everybody heard about Aladdin's luck and wealth. But Aladdin and his mother did not say anything about the genie to Jasmine. One day, a salesman came next to Aladdin's castle. Old lambs! Old lambs! I buy and sell old lambs. I buy anything that's old. Jasmine heard the salesman yelling and thought that if she would exchange the old lamp with a new one, it would make Aladdin very happy. She gave the salesman the magic lamp and got a new one. The salesman was actually the evil man who trapped Aladdin in the hole where it all started. When he got a hold of the lamp, he immediately ordered the genie to move the castle far away with Jasmine in it. When Aladdin returned home that evening, the castle was nowhere to be seen. He knew something very bad had happened. Their old house next to the castle was still standing. He ran home right away and found the ring he found in the cave. As soon as he put it on his finger, the giant appeared once again. Wish for anything you want. But don't forget, you only have two wishes left. Take me next to Jasmine right away. As soon as he finished his talking, he found himself in the castle. He hid immediately. His wife Jasmine was serving the evil man. He was holding the lamp in his hands. When no one could see him, Aladdin put the ring back on and the giant appeared again. Wish for anything you want, but don't forget, you only have one wish left. 
Let that evil man go in a very long and deep sleep. As soon as he finished his words, he ran next to his wife. Jasmine was looking at the evil man in fear. When she saw Aladdin, she got very happy. Aladdin told Jasmine all that had happened from the beginning. Jasmine listened to him with amazement. Aladdin rubbed the lamp again. The genie appeared. Well, wish for anything you want. Send the civil man so far away that he can never ever find us again. The sleeping man suddenly vanished. Aladdin asked the genie to carry the castle to its old spot. Take us and the castle home. The castle flew in the sky and landed back where it was before. With the castle back in its old place, Aladdin was finally next to his mother again. Aladdin, his mother and the princess lived happily ever after. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L,